Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about my uh, Beretta CX4 rifle. This is a 9mm rifle. Um, I have a, um, a Hollow Sun 403 red dot mounted on it. Uh, that's the, the solar powered red dot. And uh, I got a new best group with this rifle. Okay? It's, it's not my best group, but it's my, you know, overall, but it's my best group with this rifle. Okay, so I, I was using the uh, Wolf Performance 9mm. And this is a steel case. Um, and I got, at 100 yards, okay, between the furthest two points, I've got a 3.25 inch grouping. Okay, I, I've actually got a two inch cluster right here. And then one shot went way out over there and I got the, uh, the three and a quarter inch grouping. Okay, so that's the, uh, the best grouping to date that I've gotten with that rifle. On average, I get about four inches, okay? Um, and, um, you know, so even when I shoot that with brass, I, I usually get four inches, right? Okay. I shot it with a cellular and bellet, uh, and basically, so, we got a four, four and a half inch grouping. So, I, I don't think that the brass or steel makes a difference. Um, for whatever reason, the Wolf, uh, right now, this particular brand is, uh, is shooting the best groupings now there's I know there's some type of relationship between Wolf and Tula because the cases say Tula on the back um, so I don't quite fully understand what the relationship is between Wolf and, and Tula but there's something there uh, I've shot I shot Tula in that rifle before and I never quite got anything this good for whatever reason this Wolf performance uh, is giving me the best grouping so that's what, that's what that is. I did another grouping. Uh, this one was, no, this is the four inch grouping. Okay, this grouping was really interesting. Okay, this is, uh, again, with the Wolf Performance, three and three quarters. Okay, so 3.75. Uh, five shot groupings, all, all my groupings are five shot. Uh, you got two shots up here, right? So there's, you know, three and three quarter inches between those two shots. And then I got three over here that are touching each other. And I think that's sheer luck. I mean, um, you know, I mean, first of all, with the red dot scope, my red dot is bigger than the bullseye, okay? So, you know, you know it's impossible to consistently get a grouping that that good when the red dot completely overwhelms the, the bullseye. So I, I think that's just that's just stupid luck, but I thought I'd, I'd share that with you. But uh, the good thing about this is I'm consist consistently getting uh, better than four inches. Okay, um, you know, 3.75 and even all the way down to um, 3.25. So with a magnification scope, I'm pretty sure we can, you know, we can get pretty close to those three inches and stay there. Okay, so um, you know, this is a lot better than I ever expected out of this rifle. Um, you know, with nine millimeter. Um, now nine millimeter, you know, because it's a slower moving bullet and it's a fatter bullet, uh, it's more susceptible to wind. And I, and I have had some light wind, you know, somewhere in the area about five miles per hour. Um, you know, sometimes it stops, sometimes it picks up, something, you know, and it's not consistent. It kind of goes in circles. Um, so that might have also, that probably affected my groupings a little bit. Um, the nine millimeter, you know, out of this, you know, typically goes about 1,200 feet per second. 1,200 feet per second. Out of the rifle, it's I think it's going a little bit faster than 1,300 feet per second. Uh, but it's still a lot slower than an AK round or an AR-15 round. So because it's in the air longer, the wind has more time to affect it. And also because the bullet is a lot fatter, right? It's a 36 caliber uh, as opposed to the 30 caliber of the AK or the 22 caliber of the, you know, of, of most AR-15s. Because it's a it's a fatter caliber, it's got more surface area, so again the wind is going to affect it a lot more. Um, so I think I think getting close to three inches on the nine millimeter rifle is, you know, is, I, I think I'm, I'm very happy with the, with the performance. Um, if you guys got any uh, comments, please post them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. Uh, if you're not a member, subscribe. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that that bell button so that you get uh, notification of all my videos. I'll talk to you guys next time.